Today we're going to be working on a 2003 Bombardier Quest 500. This is the machine right here. It's not in horrible shape. Like cosmetically, it's a little rough and she's not running the best. It takes a long time to build compression enough to start it up. When it's warmed up, it's fine, but when it's cold, it takes a while. Let me show you what she's doing. She's got a couple running issues, so we'll start her up. I've already had it running, so it's gonna start easy. So as you can tell, idle's good, sounds pretty good and everything. Idle a little low right in a second, but give that a second. Take a throttle. So we're gonna go ahead, throw it in high range. Feel that kick in the gear or hear it now i can't get it out of gear at all it's stuck in gear it just wants to creep ahead is what's going on I gotta go ahead, put it to neutral. Right there. Start it back up. Throw it in reverse. Now we can back up, but I can't move it anywhere else. It's stuck. So shut her back off. <laughs> put her in neutral. Start it up yet again. And then we can go ahead and throw it in gear. Now we can drive her. Well, the other problem with this, you might not be able to see it right now because it's so bright out, but she does smoke quite a bit. So what I believe is going on with the crawling ahead, locked in gear, I believe the clutch is messed up, possibly the one-way bearing in there is acting up. It's not idled up too much, that's not the problem, because that could be the problem, but not the case on this one. Anyways, let's get to ripping her down, see what she needs. Go ahead and pull these panels off. So I see right off the bat our intake boot is cracked. Definitely gonna have to replace that. Cause water, dirt, mud's gonna get in there when he gets above that point. Oh wow, that thing's plugged solid in here. This is the vent for the CVT clutch. It's plugged solid. No wonder we got issues with the clutch. All right. Yeah, check that out. 
That's a big old chunk of uh, insulation. Whew. Smells like mouse. We got a lot of insulation in here. Pull this off. So this is the one-way bearing I was talking about. It doesn't seem to be froze up, but you can see how rusty it was. Um, so maybe with pressure on it, it was. Obviously this whole clutch needs a good cleaning. And probably a rebuild. Yeah, I mean, these weights are moving hard. Need a good old cleaning in that thing. Look at the crap in there. I'm gonna go clean that out real quick. All right, I went ahead and cleaned that out quickly. I'm gonna throw it back on and see how she works. I'm gonna pull it back off and clean it better, but I just wanna make sure it's gonna work properly. All right, let's go ahead and fire her up now. The neutral to begin with. I see what's going on now. So, we're actually stuck, okay? Start it up. Watch this clutch. See, I just pulled that back, it's sticking. So, we'll rebuild that clutch and then we'll be all set there. Definitely, uh, yeah, she's sticky. She's sticky. All right, now we know we need to rebuild that primary to get the transmission problem, the shifting, and the creeping ahead fixed. Not a big deal, we'll order the parts for that. Now we're gonna rip the top end down and see what kind of condition that's in. mount we're gonna get rid of you can see we're gonna need an engine mount right there top engine mount as I'm moving it the rubber is not attached
pull the carburetor off. Air box first. Now loosen the carb up. that came out that one did not that one broke Let's see how these do Now we can rip down this Rotax engine. Cover. We'll pull our time and chain tensioner. And pull that out of there. Leaky old motor she was, pretty greasy everywhere. Cam sensor. Just like that. See how she looks in there. You can tell a lot of oil build up on the valves here and the spark plug of course. Cylinder doesn't look too bad. I'll have to check for out around. A little bit of scarring on the sidewall there on that side. The intake exhaust isn't as bad. These rings, they're sharp, I can feel them. Well, now I gotta go do some pricing, let the customer know what I found. Honestly, I think we could get away with, if you want it, I mean, it all depends on what the customer wants, but honestly, I think you can get away with a set of rings and some new valve seals, and this thing should be good to go again.